Hello, my name is Ilian St. Hilaire and today we will be looking at Device Builder. This is a tool that is part of the developer toolkit for UPnP technologies. So Device Builder is a code generating tool. It's for developers and what you do is you uh, put a device description in here and it will generate source code that you need. Now, uh, you, normally you start by loading a device description. What I'm going to do is open up a device like this light bulb. I'm going to say open from network. It's going to scan the network, find this device, and I'm going to select it and say OK. And then you're going to see the uh, all the device information is located here. You can go and edit it any way you want. And once you're done editing all this, and by the way, you have uh, for each service you have methods and so on and once you're done editing this device uh, you can select file generate stack and this will get you into the dialog box for generating a, um, a UPnP stack now I don't need a device in anymore as soon as I loaded the de device description into my tool now what I'm gonna do is create a new folder I'll call it stack there we go and then I'm going to go and select the output path and stack here. Now we have a whole bunch of different uh, things we can do, calling conventions, you know, so on, what type of stack you have. This is probably the most important, uh, what platform you want to target. Um, so for example, you most people will either select uh, the WinSock 2 target or the Linux target. These, these are two probably important ones and the other one is the .NET Framework uh, C Sharp. So I'm going to select the Windows target using WinSock 2 which is probably the most common one. There's a whole bunch of other features you can go play around with. If you're familiar with UPnP you can touch those. If you're not just don't worry about them. Just uh, keep them default. Then you, s then you say generate stack. Now before I do that I'm just going to open the, um, the, the, this folder and you're going to see the, the folder is completely empty. has no files. Now I'm going to just hit the generate button and in a split second you're going to see all these files show up inside this folder. Okay, now uh, now I'm done. I can close this. You can save the you can save your device description if you edited things uh, here, but I'm just going to close the the uh, tool. Now let's see what it generated here. Um, now there's all these things that start with iLib, so all these files are uh, pretty constant. They're just common libraries that we use for our uh, synchronous sockets and so on and so forth. We have the main file, which is the one you, the user here, are we're going to be interested in changing. And then there's this UPnP microstack. This is the code that was really has the magic in it. This is the modules that have the um, have the something that's unique. All these are kind of generic. Uh, they're always the same regardless of which stack you build. This is the stuff that changes based on what stack you build. And of course main here is also uh, custom built for uh, the stack that you want. So now the tool has been very nice. It also creates us a sample solution and a sample project. Uh, the solution and project are Visual Studio 2008. So you can open that up and you can see all the files are already all there. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and just run it. And it's going to compile and run it. I'm not going to even look at any of the code here. I'm just going to hit F5 and it's going to start building. There you go, it runs. And you can see Network Lite just shows up. And so this is a device. Now I can open up the, my Device Spy tool. You're going to see Network Lite just showed up and there's services. I can say for example set target and I'm just going to put this this screen here so you can see it. I'm going to say invoke and you see the 1 and 0 and 1 and 0. There you go. I can also say get status and it's always going to return 1 here um, but you can see that it's being called. So what's going on is that the tool generated a full UPnP stack that uh, is ready to go with a project file and everything and it created the UPnP stack in all these files but um, but uh, so most of these files are generic 
this is the the one that's kind of magical it has stuff that's very specific to uh, the device you created and you look at the main.c by the way this is all apache license you look at the main.c here and what you're going to see is to do put your code here so for example set load level get min level and uh, one that should be familiar is get status and set target these are the two methods I just called and you can see the printf and for example in get status it always return one and in set target it gives you the new value but it doesn't do anything with it in here it just well except printing it using the printf so what you all you need to do is take this code to add your your custom code in these things and you're done so whatever you do you just put it in there and then when you start the application it uh, it runs you can see the rest of the code here there's uh, main uh, files there's a little main that uh, starts up the stack and uh, does a venting and all this stuff so um, pr pretty lightweight there's a little run here but you know very very simple so you can see that the, the main file is just a few pages long and very easy to edit and add your custom code um, and of course the nice thing is uh, because this is all open source you get to leverage the rest of the community which is going to help debug the stack and make sure everything is runs smoothly um, just a, another note on this stack, the C code stack, which I generated here, uh, will also work on a C++ application, and it's single-threaded, it's very, very efficient. Um, you can run it on Pocket PC on embedded devices, and it will, um, it will only take one thread and very little, uh, it's very lightweight. So I hope you enjoy and use this stack quite a bit. It's quite easy to use and uh, should be... Um, should be uh, very helpful for people building uh, UPnP solutions. Thank you.